Hello everyone, I'm Riggs Zanotti with Relate Corporation, and this is another Captivate Quick Tip. Well, actually, in reality, it's a multimedia production quick tip. How do you produce and how do you have a good workflow when you're building multimedia pieces? Well, there's a couple of things you can do to really make your process very streamlined. The first one is, here's what most people do. They build each slide one at a time. So, for example, you put in your graphics, your audio, your video, your animations, and your text captions all on one slide, and you build it, and it looks great, but it took a long time. Then you have to do the same thing for the next slide, and if you've got 40, 50 slides in a piece, that's a lot of work. Here's a quick way. Do your piece in multiple passes. For example, the first pass, bring in all your audio. So you've got all of your audio in your pieces. That's going to give you cues as to where things go later on. Second, bring in all of your graphics. Third pass, bring in all of your uh, text captions. Fourth pass, bring in your animations. And maybe the fifth pass, bring in your video. So you've done multiple passes through your course. And you may think that sounds time consuming. It isn't. It's actually a lot quicker. If you're using Captivate, you've got the library. So you can bring things into the library as groups and then drag them out to the slides that they belong to. That's very quick. That will save you a ton of time in production. And finally, once you have everything in there, then you do the important stuff. You time it, you sequence it by slide as it needs to be done. So as a result, you've gotten all of your assets in very, very quickly with a lot less going through your file explorer trying to find assets and bringing them in. You bring them in all at once. Lay them out through several passes. And again, tweak and modify your individual slides when all the assets have already been in place. That will save you a ton of time and money. And it'll also make your pieces work a lot better, and you'll catch mistakes much more quickly by doing that. Anyway, that's it. Remember, do multiple passes before you actually tweak the individual slides or pages. For Captivate Quick Tips, here's your multimedia production quick tip for the week. I'm Rick Zanotti. Thanks for listening.